Hello, welcome to the lesson on installing ESP8266 Core in Arduino IDE. So why we need to install ESP8266 Core in Arduino IDE? So to program your board, so we are using Node MCU board which is actually ESP8266 SOC based uh, development board all of you. So to program that particular board, Arduino should support it. Okay. So we have to select uh, this Arduino. Uh, in Arduino, uh, we have to select the board. Okay. So you will see here there are different boards available. Arduino N, Arduino Uno, Arduino uh, Dimulano, Arduino Nano, Mega. So on. There are so many boards, but you don't find here Node MCU your board okay by default by default arduino you know, comes with these arduino boards but it supports other boards also like node mcu but what we have to do is we have to add that particular board configuration okay which is available in arduino uh, you know uh, core okay so generally we call it as an arduino core so for each uh, microcontroller there is an arduino core for esp8266 base board also we have arduino core so we have to add that particular esp8266 based arduino core in this particular uh, arduino ide so how to install that to install that so first you know we need uh, the url uh, you know uh, the url uh, so for that url go to browser all of you just go to browser so search here you know uh, node mcu board manager url board manager url so once you search it you will see here installing esp8266 arduino core so in your uh, arduino ide so you can find here when you click here you will find uh, you know uh, the link for adding uh, the arduino uh, core esp8266 core into your arduino ide please copy this particular uh, url all of you so we need to paste this in additional board manager urls go to your arduino uh, ide okay and then go to file click on file and then in file you will see preferences all of you please click on the preferences please click on the preferences now here you will see additional board manager urls so here we have to paste all of you so we have to paste here so i have pasted the url here okay so if you want to add another url just you have to separate that with comma so as of now uh, i am actually uh, adding only one uh, core so if you want to add another core you can use comma here okay so here you have to add this url once you add the url click ok click ok so now the next step is we have to open board manager okay so in tools tools menu you will find board in board you will see boards manager so boards manager is mainly to install the core okay once you add the url in the additional board managers url in the preferences the next step is you have to install that particular core now that core is available in boards manager now we will search for esp8266 core so esp8266 core now you will see this ESP8266 by ESP8266 community boards included in this package. There are many boards uh, you know, in, uh, included here. So our board is also present here Node MC 1.0 ESP 12E uh, module. So actually this is the, our board and there are other boards also. There are many boards available. So now we will be installing. So click on uh, install all of you. It will be installed. Now it is installing. It may take uh, some time. So just uh, please wait for uh, some time okay now done with the installation so here you will see that esp8266 by esp8266 community version 3.0.0 installed okay so now you can close this board manager uh, uh, dashboard just click here now we have to check whether the board is available or not now so to check it again go to tools go to tools and go to board now we have to see our node mcu Okay, to see the Node MCU now, you will see that in addition to Arduino AVR boards, you will see ESP8266 boards also added. So as we have installed, so now these boards are added. Now you can see Node MCU 1.0. This is our board, all of you, because we are using this Node MCU 1.0 ESP12 module based board. So click on this board. Right, so we have selected our board. 
clear right all of you so are you able to understand this i hope every one of you are uh, you know able to understand this thank you all